Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my J -J Gemini. My Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? Hi, vibe, cross watcher. Everybody here is welcome. Sending you guys so much love and healing energy to all my high vibrational energies, my high vibrational babies, okay? Um, it's a general message. It's not going to resonate with each and every Gemini, high vibe, cross watcher, or nobody. So only take the messages that fit and you know the rest. And I want to say thank you for all your love. The likes are getting better. Thank you, ass. As you come in, hit that thumbs up, y'all. That's what's up. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Choir, come to the front. <clears throat> One, two, three. Oh, T-Girl, T-Girl, magic and collective. T-Girl, 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 magic and collective. T-Girl, T-Girl, magic and collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Yeah, you guys, give the choir a round of applause, okay? Hold on, let me grab this other deck that I want to use in this reading too so we're going to get into it with the um y'all in separation the breakup y'all and them broke up what happened what's going on behind the scenes and things like that so ancestors father holy spirit ascended masters of the highest white light pure love only let us know what's going on in gemini i high vibes energy spirit thank you what you want us to know Okay, somebody arrogant, all up in there. Ooh, child, what is going on? I don't, I don't get what you want. What I don't get, what does it say? If I don't get what I want from you, then I'll get it from someone else. So I guess you weren't giving this person what they want, I guess. What was that spirit? Yes, yeah, silent moves. This person was moving in silence. I'm making moves in silence. I don't want anyone to ruin my plans. Okay, so this person's moving in silence. They're pretty much in their ego right now, arrogant, okay? Um, what else, spirit? Drama. I have too much drama in my life right now. I'm trying to stay out of it. So they're trying to get out of drama right now. That's why they're moving in silence, okay? So they're in drama that they're trying to get out of. M number one, be careful, okay? Because there's drama following this person that they're running from. Right now, you're focused on yourself, okay? You're not even concerned or thinking about this person that's thinking about you. Okay, what else, spirit? They're in denial about something. Mm. What else, spirit? Don't lose hope. They don't want you to lose hope. This person wants to control you, you guys. They don't want you to lose hope because you're not focusing on them anymore. They're not used to that. This person's in their ego. You're bruising their ego right now. This person's used to having control. Like they say, if I don't get what I want from you, I'm going to get it from somebody else, okay? This person wants to hold you, tie you down. I'm trying to control the situation to avoid it having, to avoid it having, excuse me. <laughs> I'm trying to control the situation to avoid having it control me. Okay, so they're running from something. They're trying to control something. They got themselves tied up in a tuferkel, some, some type of jack up, okay, whatever, and they're desperate right now, okay? They're trying to erase memories. They're trying to erase their past. So they're running away from their past right now. They've caused a lot of drama in their past. And this person cannot be trusted, okay? So Spirit said, just focus on yourself, okay? Don't lose hope in the situation as far as you moving forward and you having new beginnings in your life. But this person doesn't want you to lose hope in them either at the end of the day. Um, yeah. And this person feels, no, I don't know. It possibly was a true love, but this true love, you can't trust it. And they're going to come to you talking about, baby, please don't lose hope. I want to work it out. And I'm your true love. and But this true love can't be trusted. So Spirit is saying, you know what? Focus on yourself and release yourself from any type of drama that this person is causing. Because they are very dramatic, okay? They cause drama everywhere they go because they. I'm getting an attention whore. I choose you. Yeah, you're not choosing this person, okay? They want to come back and they say, this is what they say. I'm sorry for taking so long to realize it's always been you. 
But at the end of the day, you've erased things about this person. You've erased, erased. Well, you haven't erased them. You're just moving forward. I feel that like you're just healing. Okay. You're erasing and moving away from the hurt and the pain and the drama that this person caused you in your life. You've removed yourself from the control. You, yeah, this person's desperate though. They were keeping you in a love triangle is probably why. So when they you didn't give them something, they went to they went to Betty over here. Or they went to Haley or Susan or Anthony or Mark or something. Okay, I've been seeing someone else and I'm having trouble choosing. So I guess this person, whoever they got with, they ain't getting, they not getting what they want from them either. So now they want to come back to you. You you is not a ping pong uh, machine. That's number one. You, okay, this person wants to go back and forth. So now they're getting divorced. So I don't know. I feel that this person's getting divorced right now from the third party triangle they put you in. Okay, they're not getting what they want. So they're ending their long-term long relationship now to be with you. They're moving in silence, okay? Because this third party I'm picking up is wants to control or trying to trap and bind your person. And your person's in a desperate situation to get out, Okay. And you're saying, you know what, now is not the right time. You know what I mean? Um, You've healed, learned, and you've evolved from this situation. You forgive them, okay? But um, you just can't trust them. And in a relationship where you can't trust them, why even be with them, right, you guys? What else, Holy Spirit? Burdens. Yes, this burden is a big old burden. Since I, you laid your burdens down, honey. This person is overwhelmed. They have a lot going on right now, and they're extremely worried right now, Okay. Um, they're stressed out that you got away, okay? Because this person, like I said, they were arrogant. They always felt that you would always be there for them, keeping you in third-party situations. They wanted to control you and keep you feel burdened and heavy down. But when you woke up and you decided to remove yourself from the situation and focus on yourself and, and realize this person can't be trusted, even though they could be a true love. And the only reason true love came out is because you are the true love. Okay, this person was not true love. They were a karmic love for you to learn lessons from. Okay, the ancestors had to come in. Okay, this person is asking their friends for support and things like that. But th these are the same friends that get, I don't know, child. Tell me about, yeah, they stalking you. You're, their friends are stalking you. This person's stalking you. They're jacking off to you to call you back in and things like that. They're on the verge of having some type of nervous breakdown because there's so much chaos and turmoil and burdens that they're going through in their life. Possibly with this divorce situation, they may have to come out of the pocket or they may end up, well, regardless, they're going to end up in a five of pentacles situation because whoever they, they get in a divorce from is either going to clean them out or has hidden money where they're not able to access the money if they don't have access to money, if that makes sense, okay? So if they marry for money and the person, they're getting divorced, if they thought they were going to get money from divorcing this person... The person fixed it up where they not getting nothing, okay? Now they're worried. They're, they're worried about their livelihood. They're worried about money and things like that. And they need some type of stability for some of them, okay? What else, spirit? And then others of you, they do have stability. They're just worried about not having as much as they would have had because they have to pay out in the, the divorce settlement, okay? So this person's missing you, you guys. That's what they say. They say you, they missing you. I've never missed anyone in my life as much as I've missed you. Their friend, they're getting on their friends' nerves and stuff because they keep talking about you to their friends and everything. And their friends are telling them that you're not going to trust them, okay? You're not going to trust them. And maybe it's just not the right time. Their friends are telling them that they need to get their life together. And their friends are telling them that they need to focus on themselves because they're in a bad situation where... The, they feel that you won't, their friends are telling you you're not going to take them back. That's what their friends are advising them, okay? That they need to work on themselves and get themselves together because you're not going to want this person in this type of raggedy energy, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? And now this person's not trying to listen to the friends. they like, fuck that. I want my person. I want my Gemini. I want my high vibe. They're at their breaking point right now, okay? And they're feeling pushed to make a decision right now because they feel that they're losing you. They feel that you've erased memories and you've erased, you're trying to erase them out of your life and your energy. They can feel that right now. They can feel that you just want to be alone and by yourself. This person's in solitude. They're worried. They're sad. They're depressed. Child, they're going through a spiritual awakening. And because you're seeming to be unfazed because you're focusing on yourself right now. Okay. And what else, Spirit? What about the, they want to apologize for putting you in some type of love triangle? 
Okay, this party is a, pers a party person. They left you for somebody that parties all the time, number one, for some of y'all. And what else, spirit? What else? Okay, they're fantasizing about you. Some of them are at work online. Child, they better not get fired from their job trying to look at, I don't know what they're trying to do. If they going on your website or your social media platform or whatever the case may be, they're fantasizing about you. They're burying themselves in work for some of them that are working still because some of them aren't working and some of them are. This is two different energies. One is broke and went to somebody that had money that they thought they was going to marry for money and they didn't get that money that they thought they was going to get. And then another one is they have money and they got with somebody who don't have money. It's become a heavy burden for this person and this person that has money that married somebody with no money. They feel like they feel like they feel trapped in that relationship, tied and bound down. But that's that person. They married them, and now they're trying to get divorced. I'm hearing annulment for some of them because they haven't been married that long when they want to get an annulment. All right, Holy Spirit. So you have forever changed this person's life because now you're unfazed, okay? You are unfazed by the separation at the end of the day mm, since this person wasn't emotionally invested. And they want to apologize for disappointing you. And they want to know, will you accept the apology? And they want to start a brand new love with you because you're incomparable. But see, mm, how is my babies feeling about this, Holy Spirit? How is it? Because they want to make a solid offer. They want to give you the ace. You, on the other hand, yeah, they want to practice forgiveness and give it equal give and take with this Six of Pentacles. And like I said, you forgive them, but I don't know. Yeah, you feel they're stressed out. I feel that you're, they're stressed out because you see them as the devil. Are they obsessed with you? That's why they stressed out here. Look, that's why, that's tying, tying somebody down, trying to control them. And this is why they want to reconcile with you. For So the, the broke one coming up, because he needs some money, honey, because you're the queen of pentacles, or you're the sable one, or you're the mothering, nurturing, caring, loving one. You are wish fulfillment, and this person wants to marry you. The broke one do, okay? They could be facing legal problems. And all kind of shit. Look, somebody going through something right now. So they are burdened. So whatever they went to in this relationship could have either caused them to face some type of jail time. I hear there's a lot of fussing, fighting, arguing, screaming, bra child. Yes. Oh, this person was, um, did this person fight two people? And now they single? And now they want to come back to you because they was married to a queen of wands energy. Anyway. Anything else, Spirit? How's my Gemini's feeling about this? High vibes, high vibes, high vibes. You feel this person's a player and they a trickster and a manipulator. And what else do you feel, Gemini? With the you feel it? Yeah, they're a player, the trickster, manipulator. You feel they're too conflicty. You feel they're too burdensome. You feel they're a playboy, playgirl. You know they're flighty, non-committal, in and out. Okay, you don't trust them. Okay, yeah, you don't at all. And you look at them as a queen of wands. So if they're a masculine, they're in a feminine energy, all emotional, just sleeping all around the place, putting you in competition with queen of wands' energies and everything, very childish. That's how you feel. You feel this person is bad luck, okay? And you feel that they sharp with their tongue. They're cold. They're detached. They think they know every damn thing and they don't know nothing. You feel that they're hot, like they're temperamental. They fly off at the handle real quick. They're too emotional and they're always stuck like Chuck waiting to get out of some type of situation. You feel their money is always moving too damn slow. And they always, like this person's the type of person that likes to have open commitments and then close out situations and just leave you hanging. And they're arrogant and they like to be seen. And they have affairs online and everything. And you're just tired of it, Gemini High Vibes. So you're blocking them, okay? And you're going to start you a brand new beginning. A brand new beginning, okay? So you're blocking, and because you are blocking them, you are receiving this brand new beginning. Exactly. Yep. And then what else, spirit? <laughs> so it's a wrap, I guess. I guess it's a wrap, you know? Yeah, this person from your past, you have nostalgic. Well, this person has nostalgic memories and feelings about you. There could be an age. Hi, this person wanted control. They wanted complete control over you. They were overdoing and over um, exercising their control, okay? They had somewhat of a healing energy to them. You're, okay, I feel like this person, you are a healer. You're very balanced. You got a lot of yellow. You got a lot of red. You got a lot of blue. Okay, you're power. You're very powerful. You have red boots on in this picture right here. That's your foundation. Your, your root chakra is extremely strong, okay? This, they have orange. Their, their, their foundation is between their legs, okay? And then that orange down there. So, like, 
they need to heal. This person needs to heal from your past, okay? They need to heal their, their past, okay? They could be around. They could live near you, by you, or whatever the case may be. They may bring you some flowers of apology. Spirit says that's the truth, okay? They could be sick as well, okay? Or they could be... What's going on? Oh, maybe some of you, for some of you, it's going to be different for everybody. Now, the, the, the divorce, I don't know what the hell didn't happen over there, but for some of you guys, this person left you while you were pregnant, and some of you had let, you guys had uh, got rid of the baby, and they want to apologize for not being there for this baby or whatever, leaving you out in the cold. They've been mentally entrapped ever since, and they've been moving out of silence, so that what they did was got you pregnant, knocked up, knocked up left you to go back to be with somebody else and that shit ain't even working out. And so now they feel in some kind of way because they're receiving some type of karma, okay? Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, what else, spirit? Mm, they, yeah, they're in their head. They can't get out of it because they know they lied to you. They're afraid to come back. They want to come back. They keep looking back at you, but you're focused on yourself. They're missing you like crazy. They really miss your sex. You're telling them, no, now is not the time. This person wants to come in and fight for you. Some of their friends want to come in and fight for you too. And I'm talking about fight to be with you because some of their friend circle or whoever these people are, they think you're sexy, confident, abundant. They think you're all of that and everything. So this person talked too much to their friends. So now they got their friends looking and wanting you too. Child, they looking at you. Oh, look, they got, look. Uh, you on a platform somewhere, you're a star, you're a healer, whatever you do, these... This person's sad and depressed now and heartbroken because they friends want you. You don't want them. Child, it's a, it's a whole bunch of shit. You done walked away. You done walked away from all of this third-party heartbreak. You're moving on with your life, okay? You're working on yourself. You're pouring self-love into yourself and others, okay, that give that same reciprocated love. You're working on you. You're working on opening that heart chakra, expressing your love, balancing out, being that queen of cups energy. This person wants to work on it because they do view you as this queen of cups, loving and nurturing and healing and kind and balanced and forgiving, always taking this person back. But now because you're focused on yourself and you're only focused on this healing of self-love and you're only focused on creating new beginnings for yourself in this queen of wands energy this is bringing a tower to this person for them wanting to come back to calmer waters and reconciling with you okay your celebration and your success and your acclimates are bringing someone a tower because you're standing in your power and now you're seeing this person for who they really are and now the wheel has turned and now this king of king of whoever it could be a, a, a air sign with some sagittarius coming up we got that for sure. They want to come back and apologize, but you view, them, you view them as the villain, as toxic, as codependent, as obsessive. They have a sex addiction. They are a prostitute. Now, I don't know what side of the prostitute. If they got married to the... I'm picking up. Okay. For some of y'all, they are a prostitute. And for some of your others, y'all, you they married a prostitute. So you just take that how it goes. Okay. And now this person want to come back to you. Oh, hell no. I got to get to you. They got to get to you. Let us see. Hey, girl. Um, Yeah. Uh-uh. Spirit, what else? What else? What is the outcome? What is the obstacle? That's what I want to know. What is the obstacle? The obstacle is they wounded and crusted and petty. Okay? They wounded and crusted and petty. They feeling woundy. You walked away. They walked away. Caused the tower. Now they want to come back. You don't want them no more. Now they're feeling defeated and imbalanced, child. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because what they invested in. And child, and then what is the outcome? Did I say the outcome? I said the obstacle. What's the outcome? A new beginning for you, Gemini. A new beginning for you. You might get some new, a new, some new, some new, <laughs> for some of y'all going to get some new deck. Okay? Um, yeah, but what else is the uh, outcome? So some of y'all get a new beginning, new whatever. Yeah, taking a leap of faith. You get a brand new spanking beginning, okay? Some of y'all don't be falling on top of some new penis. Calm down, y'all, okay? Just make sure, you know, I, I, I'm going to tell you, what you should know what you should be doing, okay? But this will be your justice regardless, okay? So you, you, this could be your king of cups that you're going to be sitting on, okay? <laughs> I ain't mad at it. It's been a minute, Gemini. It's been a minute, my celibate baby. It should be right and ready for him when he gets here. Yes, honey. What else, spirit? And this person from your past is so sad. They don't want you riding on nothing, honey. But you're going to ride it, though. Mm-hmm. It's going to be some good, good, too, honey. Oh, yes. 
I'm sorry, y'all. I don't need to yell in your ear. <laughs> this emperor, honey, you're going to be sitting on it. Okay? And this person from your past going to be staring. He's going to be staring and looking and sad and everything, honey. Look, he's angry. He's going to want possibly want to come travel towards you. Be like, bitch, what you doing? Honey, uh, he better step away from this big penis emperor or this big, this good poom poom empress, okay? Mm, yeah, they like, oh, hell no. They mad. Oh, look at this. Yo, oh, wait a minute. Hold the fuck up. He like, what you getting with? You getting in a commitment in a relationship with the emperor, B? Okay, he like, oh, hell no. Mm -mm, he gonna come charging you mine. So here he come charging and trying to stab up the damn king of cups. Okay, the emperor. Child, he better watch his ass out. He probably trying to do some magic and everything. Child, that's not going to work. Spirit, tell us more. This got the plot done thick and then I need to get some of these cards up so I can figure out what the hell is this man trying to do. What is this man trying to do, Spirit? He trying to charge at my emperor to end something. Yeah, he mad. He got his fist balled up. Child, he feeling defeated. I don't think it's going to win. He's not going to win. I don't tell him I know. Think he not. This is a divinely guided child. What is spirit? I cannot. Why now this person want to fight? Shouldn't they have been fighting before you got into the commitment? Because once the emperor comes, pretty much it's all this. Pure bliss. You guys are going to have a baby for some of you guys. You guys are going to have a, um, was it Sarah? In the Old Testament of the Bible, how she was 80 years old and she done had a baby. It's going to be one of them, okay? You can't stop what God has put together, okay? Whoever this baby is going to be born, it's going to be um, a very extremely important to the world, okay? They're going to shine a lot of enlightenment and be a healer, and they're going to be a chosen one. They have a very important mission from this emperor and this empress energy, so it wasn't meant for you and the older person to have the baby. So if you did, did aborted the baby or something happened to the baby or whatever, that's okay. Don't feel bad about it because that was not in the destiny. That was not in the will of fortune, okay? Now this person's feeling backstabbed and betrayed because they should have been the king of pentacles, but they didn't want to put in the work to get there. So you cut them ass. So you cut their ass out and now they come in where from? I'm from, I'm from, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm stuck. You cut me out. Oh, my God, because I didn't see what I was supposed to see. I wasted time. I didn't know which way I wanted to go. I was in illusion and confusion because this person was still in their shadow side, holding on to the past, holding on to shit. Excuse me. Em. Now they want to make this offer that you don't want no more. So I'm going to end it right there, Gemini. That's what's going on in your reading, baby. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all keep moving forward. We're gonna, let's go take it into the next. Let's go see. Oh, I want to know what this Krusty trying to do, trying to come back, the knight trying to come to the emperor. You know, the emperor will demolish this knight or the king of cups. Regardless, they're, they're higher ranking than the person you left. So, yeah. Oh, I want to see what they want to say. It's on their mind. Thank you, spirit. They talking about, okay, so what is this person, spirit? What do they want to say to my babies? Okay, Holy Spirit, what do they want to say? They want to say, my focus needs to be on my, that's you. They're saying they need to be on their hustle, but I don't think they're hustling. And maybe for some of them it is, okay? They're depressed because, okay, for some of them, their focus is needs to be on their hustle because they got stolen from. Yeah, they, they got stolen from and they feeling defeated and they feeling backstabbed because whoever they got with stole some money from them, okay? And then some of them are saying, I can't stand being away from you. And I'll see you in your dream. So protect your dream space, okay? Protect your dream space. They're going to be trying to astral travel and project to your, you and your dreams. Um, They're in a karmic connection right now, okay? So that's why. And then if I, okay, I question if it's really love or just lust. Because they always showing up in this energy, always giving their genitalia to everything and everybody. They need to go within and heal. This is why they don't know if it's love or lust. Because this person is broken hearted. Okay, you showed up as the Queen of Cups. That's all they remember, how you gave all the love. And they're under judgment because they don't have the Queen of Cups energy no more. And the Queen of Cups don't want to reconcile. But I miss you. I'm talking to you, baby. I miss you. So this person's texting you. They're writing these messages out to you and they're never sending them to you, okay? 
They want to tell you. They want to reach out. They want to tell you. They want to clear things up about this baby or whatever the case may be. Why they cut you out or whatever the case may be. Um, they say that the best sex of their life is with you. So they're addicted to you. Okay? But they're just a sex addict. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. Because if they were really addicted to you, they would not be with anybody else, if that's making sense. Don't let people tell you no bullshit. Bitch, if I'm the one, I'm the one. What are you doing over here is what you need to ask, okay? Um, I think about you way too damn much, so they think about you all the time. You're always on their mind. They want your attention. Definitely want your attention, and I don't. I know exactly what I need. I just don't know if I can be the one to give it to you. Oh, I know exactly what you need. So that tells you right there they can't. So, bitch, bye, right? Mm-hmm. Forget what I said. I didn't mean it. So they possibly told you to get rid of the baby for some of y'all, okay? Whatever they said, whatever words that they spoke, whatever this cold, hateful eat king of uh, swords had said, um, you, you're done, pretty much. You're done. And anything else, one more, Spirit, and I'm going to end it. And they said, please, child, baby, don't go. Don't leave me, leave me, leave me. Don't go, don't go. They don't want you to go because... Here come Raggedy Broke struggling with finances. And maybe both of them. Because like I said, one of them has stole from the rich one. And then we got a broke one that got married. But the, the, the one that got married for money, the other person was smart and tied up their finances. Where the other person wasn't going to get none. So if that, something happened to them, they was just shit out of luck. So I'm going to end your reading right there, babies. I hope this helped. I love you so much. And sending you love, light, and healing vibes. Don't forget to thumbs up and all that good stuff. And I love you. Bye.